Are you here to see a part two? I thought so. Then welcome. Well, welcome back, folks, for part two of this crazy build project. This has taken me quite some time, so I hope you like it. So this video is fairly long, but I do hope that you'll stick around and watch the whole thing through. Because it's been quite an experience for me to do this project, and I want to take you along for the ride. So this project is already finished, so I'm jumping in here, older me, to kind of just give you a bit of an intro. So I'm now going to pass you over to younger me to finish this table. Don't forget guys to tap on the bell in the top right hand corner of my channel because that always tells you when I upload a video. Just so you don't miss me. Well I really hope you like this project. So it's over to younger me. So I've cut it out now, and I've just test fitted it, and it seems to fit kind of snug um, as well. What I did forget to do, but I've managed to get it right, is right on the top. It's always important to, you know, once you've marked it out, to write one, which one is which bit is the bottom and the top, which obviously helps you out, and also which way it's going, kind of so make it, maybe making a mark here and here, so that you know that it goes this way. Um, so I uh, just had a little bit of a fiddle around to try and make sure it fits in the right hole. So I think I think I'm pretty confident that's okay. So I'm going to put some glue in now and I'm going to try and tap this down. I've just kind of shampered off the edges here, just taken the edges off of the bottoms because uh, then it will fit nice and snug in there. Hopefully, um, I don't know. Who knows what it's going to go like? But I'm going to have to give it a go. So. Here goes. If it doesn't work out, we can always maybe uh, hog it back out with the uh, router and, you know, make a bigger diamond or something. I don't know. <sighs> right, here we go. Here goes nothing. I reckon that's in there. It hasn't gone all the way down, but I did leave it proud a little bit anyway, just in case we had any problems. But I think that's quite a nice fit, actually. It's not a bad fit at all. So let's try and uh, plane yeah. this off and uh, see what we've got. Hey, not bad if I say so myself. I like it. Ah. So, folks, that is the first inlay uh, for this table. So it's not too bad. Got a few more to go. Uh, so that is what it's going to look like. But it's going to look really nice when that's shined up. So let's get the other ones in.
Okay, so what I've learned on uh, doing these, uh, just by reading up about it and watching a few other people, is that you've got to take really, really light, slow cuts around your piece. Um, be really gentle with it first of all until you've kind of like established a line you know a groove and then once you've got a groove you can kind of go over it a little bit more heavier than last time you know and then the same again you can go over heavier again and then you suddenly start to form a nice solid groove because if you don't do that and I've done it already it just goes off kind of like you lose the line you go off all over the place if you just try and do it in one hit and it just doesn't work so you've got to be really patient <laughs> so if you're not patient well this is not for you um, I'm not patient but I'm trying to I'm trying to be for this in fact I'm extremely impatient I'm one of those people that want things done last week. Right, so I'm going over now light, um, heavier cuts just all around this. It doesn't matter really, I've found that if you come over, you know, and, and you make a line in your actual work because you, you, know, you can sand that out afterwards, that's not a problem. You know, because you're only making a little, a little line in there. So I think that's done now. And then again, taking this off, you've got to be really, really careful because, you know, it's quite thin wood, this and this could just split and then that's it then you know you you're pretty knackered so you just got to be really gentle about trying to lift this back off because it sticks the sticky stuff it sticks really well and then also as i said earlier on uh is to mark up which way this goes so i'm going to just put an arrow well that's my arrow and then i'm going to put an arrow on the table and then I know that it goes that way up and it goes facing that way. Lovely, jubbly. So there we go. So now what I'll do is I'll go around and scribe around this again just to get a bit more of a definition around it. A bit more deeper this time as well. And again, this is just stuff that I've kind of picked up from, you know, YouTube. Uh, you know, I've read, read a few things uh, in some books and things um, you know, stuff on the internet asking a few people just general questions about how to do this really because I've never done this before and as you know I wanted to try to mix up the channel and I want to do more tables say more tables I haven't done any tables really but so I want to get into doing tables should I say right there we go so that's pretty good so now what we're going to do is we're going to route this out hey that rhymed set the uh, the router bit um, so it just comes down kind of like not all the way down just kind of like just over halfway really so that uh, I've left it it will leave the piece proud so I can kind of just um, just in case there's any mistakes or anything really but I'm going to get this out of here I'm going to hog out most of this and I'm going to stay well I'm going to get close to the line but really really careful you've got to be really careful with this because this can just go off on a tangent as well um, and, and if it does then again you, you're knackered so let's just do this really slowly
Okay, so this is dried up now, but um, I've lost some of the resin. It does happen, unfortunately. Um, I did seal it up, but it just seems to have escaped through there anyway. So, uh, but what I thought I'd do now, um, I thought actually I'd change the colour of this and not go with the white <laughs> and go with some black actually. I think the black might look a bit better. So I've knocked up some black anyway. And if there is a little bit of white in there anyway, I think that will look quite cool still. So I think that will quite, be quite good. So I'm going to um, put some of the black in now and uh, let this set overnight. I have been sanding and sanding and sanding for hours. It really does take a lot of sanding just to get it looking ubbly jubbly. So as you can see, I've gone down and I didn't film all of it because it just went on forever. Um, so I started on 60 grit, went to 80 grit, 120 grit, 180 grit, and then 240 grit. And then I hand sanded 400 grit on the top. I've also put a coat of sand and sealer on the top as well. And whilst off camera, I flipped the table over and just basically sanded back the underneath to 240 grit as well. We will coat that as well, but I just want to kind of clean that up a bit. So um, this is kind of, I, I would say, ready to put a finish on it. Um, and now I have picked up this. Got myself some Osmo oil. Apparently, it's the kitty. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll this on because I think it would come out just nice. table is looking funky I'm loving this so now we need to think about legs now there's loads of different legs we can go with but I want to do something different as you probably would have guessed and I'm thinking maybe some metal legs but not your average metal legs oh no these are gonna be weird I mean really weird I'm talking funky weird but I don't have any metal so we're gonna have to take a little trip Nice. Thanks, man. We got
This is way too hard doing it by hand. I'm gonna see if I can put this on my drill machine. Okay, I've spent hours, hours trying to drill through this, trying to drill through this steel. And I just don't have the equipment to do this job. So I'm gonna go and see a buddy, see if he can help me out. Okay, so these are all painted up really nicely. They come out really well, actually. Look at that. Holes all drilled. Now, we just need to bolt these together. And for that, I've been to Thunderbolts. Thunderbolts. You know, Thunderbolts. Yes, I did just buy this for this video. You know what? I actually don't think we need three of these beams. I think I'm only gonna use two. I think it looks better.
We are almost done with this. Just for the final coat of Osmo oil. is finished that took ages well i hope that you stuck around to the end to see the end the end see the end of this video this project the table i really enjoyed doing this it was an experience for me to kind of do one of these types of projects with inlays just making the whole table really i'm definitely going to be doing another table i'm thinking next time might stick a bit more resin in it. I do like these little river tables that people are making. Maybe we can make something similar, but different. I learned a lot making this table, and I hope some of you guys picked up a few bits too. I'm not an expert, as you know, but I don't claim to be either. I just love getting my hands dirty and making things for you. Well, and for me. I'm not too sure what to do with this table yet. I might very well keep it. But then again, it's got my 001 tag on it. The first tag of this batch. So it may well end up on my website. But there's no way I'll be delivering this thing. It weighs a ton. Well, we might be able to deliver it. But it's going to have to be within the UK, I reckon. Because I think it would cost a fortune to ship outside the UK. We might just have to have it collection only. Then you'd also get a meet and greet. Maybe a cup of coffee. Well, I don't know yet. I tried to do all this table in my workshop. A little bit in my garage, obviously, as well. But ideally, I want to try and keep it confined to one place. And I'm having to move it out of the shop into the garage. You know, move it back into the sh workshop, back into the garage, <laughs> you know. So um, I really can't wait to get into my new workshop. It's a bit bigger than this one and it will allow me to keep everything in one place. I'll keep you posted on that one. Well, thanks very much for joining me on my channel today. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I know not everyone's gonna like it, and I know there's gonna be a few people that are gonna say I did loads of things wrong. And yes, I did. But I did that on purpose. <laughs> but hey, constructive criticism, I'm all for. Nasty trollism, I'm not. Is trollism even a thing? It is now. Well, don't forget to like the video, leave me a comment, and if you're feeling extra generous, you can always share the video. That really does help the channel. Check out my links below in the description. You'll find a ton of really cool stuff in there, including where I get my music from, a little kit list that I've come up with for everyone, the stuff I use in my shop. You can follow me on Instagram down below, and you can check out Maker Central, which is coming next May. I'll be there. So if you fancy meeting me, we'll head on over to the website and grab a ticket. I wish you a fabulous, funky weekend as always. Take care, and I'll see you soon. You know, Thunderbolts.
Thunderbolts? Anyone for Thunderbolts? Just call Thunderbolts. Thunderbolts.